Hey, hey, welcome to Dre's Take. Today, we're gonna talk about cryptocurrency. Now, if you're like me, volatility of cryptocurrency might freak you out a little bit, and I don't blame you. I'm a little more old school in my investing approach. So holding crypto long term, whether I should hodl or not, uh, I don't know. I'm not gonna dig into that. This is not investing advice, it's not financial advice. Talk to a financial advisor, make the best decision that's best for you. But today what we are gonna talk about is the increased frequency in which cryptocurrencies are being used to make purchases and how this will play into real estate purchases in the near future. It's already happening and it's going to happen with more increased frequency and regularity. Just this week, Visa announced that they were partnering with, I believe, 60 coin platforms to allow coin users to make purchases with over 80 million retailers. That's incredible. That means that they are helping to build out the ecosystem for coin to be used as a medium of exchange with more regularity. It's only a matter of time before this creeps its way into real estate in larger and larger proportions. That's why it's important for you to understand what the heck it is. I'm gonna link below the Florida Realtors article uh, that's got some of the key vocabulary that surrounds cryptocurrency that you're gonna wanna know. Feel free to take a look at that. I'm not gonna dig into that today. This is more so about why it's important to understand cryptocurrencies as it pertains to real estate. So for instance, for me, uh, if I were selling my home today and I had a handful of offers, I was in a multiple offer situation and one offer was cash full price and one offer was in Bitcoin for the equivalent price and two, three other offers that I had were conventional financing or FHA financing. And this is just me, but I would strongly consider that Bitcoin offer. I would consider it as ranking right next to, maybe even slightly higher than the cash offer in terms of its hierarchy when it comes to those offers. If I'm looking at the best offer here, the financing, and I've got to deal with the banks and the regulations around the lending institutions and approving the buyer, appraisals, blah, blah, blah. You know, unless that number was substantially higher and that buyer was well, well fit for approval and I knew that deal was likely to close, I'd probably consider that cash or that Bitcoin deal above those. I'm just gonna be real. Why? Because Bitcoin is pretty much just like cash. It's highly liquid. It's an asset that the person has right now. They don't have to go ask the bank for it. They don't have to get special uh, approval to finance it or to pull it out. They just transfer it to you in the same way that they would transfer cash to you. Now as for whether I would hold on to uh, all that Bitcoin after the sale or whether I would diversify or pull some out or transfer some into cash, that's not what I'm gonna cover here. It's a whole nother topic, whole nother discussion and it's something I would have to consider. But for the initial transaction or sale itself, I would highly, highly consider that Bitcoin right in line with that cash offer as potentially the best offer. Now with millennials and Gen Z being the largest generations and with their unwavering idealism when it comes to the future of DeFi and cryptocurrencies as the emerging way to conduct business and transactions, we gotta be aware of this stuff. This makes up the largest demographic of home buyers currently, and that's only gonna continue to grow over the next 10, 20, 30 years. These guys, I'm a millennial. If, if we decide that, hey, uh, we wanna buy homes and we believe in this cryptocurrency and we've invested in it and I've got five Bitcoin to offer you uh, for your home, you might wanna consider taking my offer. This is going to be the case. And so it's absolutely vitally important for you to understand what these terms around cryptocurrency mean, what cryptocurrency is, understand its nature, understand how it's used, understand its value, and make good decisions. If you're confronted with a couple of offers on your home, one of them is in cryptocurrency in the near future, and this is going to happen, this is going, this is so going to happen. Don't just disregard that, that offer. That might, be a, that might be a mistake, to be totally honest. 
Now, what's even more exciting is just blockchain technology in general. Again, if you don't really understand what it is, do some research after you watch my video here. The ability to uh, create smart contracts around things such as a real estate transaction, for instance, uh, and record, let's say, title uh, to a property uh, via blockchain uh, is incredibly interesting, exciting, and I'm almost certain that's going to be the future of how titles are recorded and uh, escrows are settled. Going to put some real pressure on the title companies in the future uh, and we'll see how they react. There's so many potential applications for the blockchain technology and the currencies that facilitate transactions on the blockchain that is really just unfathomable. There's going to be things that we're not even thinking of. But in terms of real estate, this is coming, it's happening, and you need to know what's going on. That's Trace Tate.